is um, Jacob Boulle Sherman Emeritus, Professor Emeritus of Nutritional Biochemistry at Cornell University. Yeah, there's actually a program you can take in plant based um, nutrition. He's the world's leading authority on the benefits of a plant based diet. He's the author of two books. I'm going to jump over here and get one. Two New York Times best selling books. The first one is The China Study, and the second book, Out, is Whole Rethinking the Science of Nutrition. Well, um, many of you may know that I'm, of course, talking about a whole food, plant-based diet. And I want to first define that in case you uh, don't know. Uh, it means eating vegetables, fruits, grains, whole grains, legumes, things like that. And it also means not adding back to your meal a lot of oil and fat and, and refined carbohydrates. That's sugar, white flour. So it, it sounds like rabbit food. <laughs> but basically, uh, it's, a, it's a kind of diet that when you start eating it, it creates enormously good health. And it's also the kind of diet that you can adapt to very reasonably quickly. I mean, you do get to a point where actually uh, you crave a salad. Um, and so I want to say also what this diet is not. Some people say this is a vegan diet. It is not a vegan diet. I never use the word vegan. Because a vegan diet is the kind of diet where people are simply trying to avoid animal foods. That's their choice. That's okay. Uh, but I'm, that's not what this is. Vegan diet people still use a lot of processed foods. You know, like cakes, pies, all kinds of stuff like that. High fat. Uh, it's also not a vegetarian diet. Because 90% of the vegetarians are still using dairy. I'm talking about something that is unique unto itself. It's the nature, closest thing to nature as you can imagine. With this diet, we now can cure heart disease, even in the late stages. It's truly amazing. And this information is being published in scientific literature. Um, and uh, it, it, it can happen very quickly. If we take a bunch of heart disease patients, eat all from this food, in a matter of 10 days, in two weeks, uh, many of the symptoms of the heart disease go The level of cholesterol in the body drops like a pop. It really just drops. We can actually do the same thing with type 2 diabetes. So I know I'm saying some things here that for many of you maybe sound a bit outrageous. All I would ask you is to consider what I say. And you don't have to believe me, obviously. Uh, but all I say, just try it. Do it right, just try it, you'll see for yourself. Now let the, let the case rest on, uh, on your own experience. The science supports it. And uh, I, I would like to add, since the last talk, and I don't know how many of you were available at the last uh, talk, there have been some um, very popular stories that have published in the newspapers in the last uh, maybe month or two. And undoubtedly, I think you may have heard of them. One is, uh, gets a lot of discussion right now, is the low-carb diet, the Atkins diet, the paleo diet. You, you undoubtedly have heard of that kind of diet. Well, the paleo, the Atkins, I'm sorry, the low-carb diet uh, is basically comes in several different names. Atkins diet, paleo diet, South Beach diet, blood type diet, zone diet, you name it. All those diets, so-called, they're virtually all the same. They say that if we just don't consume very little carbohydrate, we're going to be fine. Well, carbohydrate is only produced in plant-based foods. So what they're doing is they're attacking as best they can because of the kind of information I have. They don't want the public to know this information. The low-carb diet is actually around 15, 20% of calories, which is very low, by the way, uh, which means that the rest of the diet is fat and protein. In other words, 75 to 80 percent fat and protein. That's what they're doing is they're trying to protect the, the typical American diet and actually even making it worse, to be honest about it, by increasing the amount of protein and fat in the diet. And that basically means meat. It turns out the whole food plant-based diet has all the protein we need. We need nothing more. And so uh, they are coming out now with these so-called studies showing the, the health superiority of low-carb diets. Um, and I don't have time to get into the details of that, but they talk, they compare the low-carb diet with the low-fat diet, which they claim I'm talking about. 
actually in the most recent study in the New York Times about a few days ago talked about the low carb diet having a certain advantages I compared to the low fat diet I got to talk about. It. The fat content of the diet they were comparing it with had 29.8% fat. That's like 30%. The diet that we are talking about only has 10. So they're lying. They've done this repeatedly. The Paleo group, the Atkins group, the South Beach Diet group, they're heavily funded by people who are interested in maintaining support from the industry. Uh, also, as long as we eat that kind of diet, uh, we're going to get heart disease at a faster rate, uh, diabetes, all the rest of it, and we're going to need pills and procedures. That's, that's very nice for the drug industry. I'm talking, about saying, I'm talking about a diet that food alone can actually cure and reverse many of the serious diseases. And certainly present them, prevent them. And uh, I, I, we've done this now with a number of groups of people that uh, have demonstrated this. And if any of you have seen Four Silver Knives, the film, have, raise your hand because I can see you. How many have seen Four Silver Knives? Not very many. Well, take a look at that film. That's been the number one movie documentary in this country for the, of all categories for the last three years. It was a Hollywood group that came and heard me speak and decided to make a film based on what I was talking about, based on what my friend from the Cleveland Clinic was talking about, Dr. Caldwell Esselton, also based on what some other of my colleagues are talking about. The film has been enormously successful. And uh, now we have a second film coming out to tell everyone why they haven't heard this before. It is a terrific story. It's a solution to our healthcare uh, crisis. If people actually do this and stay with it, the food really becomes very tasty, by the way. It's really good food. Uh, if people do this and stay with it, we could cut healthcare costs in this country by 70 to 75%. And that's a conservative estimate. <coughs> We can cut it by 70 to 75 percent. It's really amazing. And so we have the politicians talking to us about arguing about, you know, whether arguing about the Obamacare plan or arguing about this plan or that plan. And you know, you know it as well as I do. It's very political. None of these people, I'm talking about people whether they're conservative or right, whether or liberal on the left, none of these people are telling the, the public about the ability of food to create health. And so uh, I'm in the business of uh, hopefully uh, getting a little bit educated. Uh, the government and the industry, quite frankly, the food industry, the government and the drug industry are working sort of in essentially hand in hand to basically keep us sick. And uh, just to make one final comment, if you compare the figures for the United States versus a number of other countries, we have the highest health care cost per capita of any country in the world, about twice as high as number two, yet when you look at our health record, we rank near the bottom. We don't live as long, we have more heart disease, more cancer, and all the rest of it. So I am I'm quite frankly very anxious to uh, give this information out. I'm not making, I don't sell products, I don't sell services, I don't make money on it that way. Uh, so I just want to assure you, I'm not representing any industry. Uh, all of my research was funded by you folks, taxpayers, uh, NIH to be specific. And so uh, we're very excited about what this has to offer. But we realize that the only way that we're going to get make, make much headway in this, in this is to speak to groups of everyday people. I believe that from the bottom up, I believe uh, you know, not going from the top down. We can't work with politicians and people at the top. Forget it. They're they're in bed with the industry, protecting what we now have. That's the way they get elected to office. And I'm talking about things that we can do as individuals, recover our health. And all I say is, say, don't believe me. Just try it, and you'll see for yourself. Sorry for being so um, so bold. <laughs> I, I guess you know I'm not. I don't uh, I don't consider myself uh, quite like that. I, I'd rather be. A friendly fellow. Uh, but I'm telling you, this is, the, this is the kind of information that actually we now have. It's published in the scientific literature, but I'm running up against a, a head of steam 
from the industry, from the government, not to let you know. So thanks very much.